if you are in a situation where, where uh, you want to quit because you are boring of your work you want to do something else you feel a call you don't feel that your work is to give you the, your purpose or any other situation this video is for you so today we want to review I quit is never as you think so I have my proper experience about it but I also I would like to share with you three main uh, I think it's more recent that you can an um, important information that you can use before you take the big decision I hope that I can find you before you take the big decision but before we start it, I'm going to introduce myself for the people that's new in this channel. My name is Veronica. I'm a chemical engineer and I have a years of experience in the corporate world. Um, I want to share with you in this channel insight about abundance, insight about self-love and insight about um, uh, connected with the universe, right? how we, we can use the universe in our favor. Um, because I firmly believe if we use these three pillars, uh, we can achieve whatever we want in our life. And we have the life that we really, really want. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the first point because I believe that many people is confusing about or sometimes they have an idea that working for a corporate company, I have 15 years of experience working in work corporate. Um, and I, I believe that is, uh, is confusing. So I'm going to give some, some random ideas that I regard from, from, from YouTube, from many places. And I'm going to give you another point of view that I believe they're going to give you more information and going to question yourself what the person that you are. So the most um, um, phrase that I review that is, that is made me wondering why the people think that way is I live in someone else's vision. The most of the people or some people believe that when I work in, when you're working for a company, for someone else that is not your business, right? Not your company, you are living someone else's vision. And that is totally true, right? Because someone else um, create this company, create this, can be a small business um, based and they believe, right? They want it. When you work for a big corporate, it's more uh, related to a business more than an ambition, right? They know that they have a they a, have a role in the society. They create work for more people, so it's kind of different. But even though I I I think so, when you work for someone else, when you work for the industry, a big company, you you are taking a role you are not um it's not like a let me give this example you remember in the time that leonardo da vinci was uh, creating this painting he was an artist right so this is the purpose of his life right being an artist and express the feeling and uh try to express himself the way that uh, he can do this work, the mecenas pay to them, right? They pay a amount of money and they ask to him to work for them and to retreat families, whatever was the case. So the role that he has in this in this transaction, commercial transaction, is that he's selling uh, his gift to someone else to help them to have something that this family thought was something precious, something have some value. So it's the same when you are working for someone else. Someone else have a needs, have a, have a service that they need to deliver and you are helping to them to deliver this service. If you are good in this service and you have a specific skill, they're going to pay you more because you are very different from the rest. If you're doing something that many people know how to do, they're going to pay you less, right? How is the market? So it's not about that 
you are living for someone else's vision. You are doing a transaction. So I have met so many people that they believe that when they're working for big corporate, they are selling themselves. It's not about that. Don't, don't make a, a big deal about it. You are, you are good in something. Did you study something that is worth it for some company? They are hired for do that. So that is the other reason when people, they lost this big position, this big role, they felt empty. They felt that they don't have uh, this status that they needed. Because the other thing that I was reviewing that, uh, some of the reason the people doesn't want to quit for a job is because, is because they don't want to lose the status, right? This is connecting with my second point. Is um, um, I'm feeling that I have certain status and I'm working for the paycheck, right? So um, when you are connecting your role with a certain status is when you uh, twist things. Because you are the person that you are and you don't feel enough with the person that you are right now. Anything that happens outside is going to affect you. For example, if you give value to have someone next to you, so when you want to be a single, you want to feel that you don't have enough value. And we know many people that is single, that is a very nice person, they have a, a lot of value, right? So we know that this is a misconcept over there. So I hope that this idea give you more, um, more another point of view that put you in a different position when you are working with a company. Um, the other point that is related with the first one is when the people uh, resigned or when the people quit, um, they feel that they want to have free time for do whatever they want. And you have to be aware that even though um, we want to have free time, we have responsibility because this is part of being a human, right? We need to feed ourselves, maybe more people. We have family, um, uh, we have to pay our bills. So if you are working in this work for paycheck and for social status, that is the most common way that the people take um, a big position or take a position just is for the big check at some point maybe that is not going to be enough to be in this job so try to realize and if you had the chance i'm encouraged you to find someone and help you what do you really really want what do you think that you can do it as um, leonardo da vinci right that you believe that you can do even nobody pay you but the idea is to um, get this uh, make this your main job right so you can have this side hustle to help you to do what you really really want what you are really good at on it because it's it, that is when the life make make the difference when the every day counts when you live the life in a different way it's, it's not it's a advantage every day to wake up and to go to a work so my point my advice for you is if you are in this type of work that you are just working because of the paycheck feel grateful because you are doing something that many people is not doing you are you are taking care of yourself so maybe right now you are not in the best position but this is a transaction that you are doing you are not giving to them your heart, your soul. It's just a transaction of hours. Nothing else. Nothing else. Okay? And my third point, if you want to quit, if you are thinking that you have enough, try to have some safety plan. I did without safety plan and I did with a safety plan. I'm a, a risk person. But if you are not, uh, have a safety plan, um, have a side hustle that can give, can pay your fixed cost every month. So you want to have enough money to, for example, if you can save enough money for one year, you can have time to start to review what else you can do, how you can uh, build your new life. 
So if you like this content, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. Remember that my commitment with you is to give you most information as possible because I believe that we all deserve the best life that we wanted. Okay, so have a wonderful day and make some comments. Remember that I always said, share information and let's make a community. Thank you.